Hello, everybody. Uh, the other day when I heard about our Pastor Matthews, about our, about Pastor Matthew, I was thinking um, to myself, uh, all the things he's done, and uh, and things started hitting me, right? And uh, and I want to give a shout out to Pastor Matthews uh, and the Dream Center. I live here at the Dream Center, for those who don't know, and uh, his wife, his wife obviously had a, is part of this. She's, I wanted to recognize her, Carolina Barnett, Caroline Barnett. You know, I know he could not have done that without her. And uh, I just wanted to recognize her. She's very humble, very powerful woman. And the fact that she's humble, you know, is a powerful uh, gift from the Holy Spirit, right? Sometimes it's hard for me to be humble, right? And I always have to humble myself. But she's like, she's always there, just quiet, just, you know, proper and, and, and living that holy life with her and Matthews, man. Like, that's very honorable, both of them. And uh, so I was thinking of uh, 2 Samuel 21, it hit me, right? And it was, um, now, the, now when the Philistines, starting at 15, now when the Philistines were at war with the Israelites, with Israel, and David his servants were with him, went down and fought against the Philistines, and David drew faint. Then one of the giants who was the son of the, one of the guys who was son of the giants, I don't know how to say his name, so I'm not going to pronounce it. So <laughs> one of the sons of the giants, the weight of his bronze spear was 300 shackles, who, who was bearing a new sword and thought he could kill David. And Abashai, the son of Zeruiah, came to his aid and struck the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swore to him, saying, You shall not go out no more with us to battle. At least you quench the light of Israel. And so when you read, keep reading, they end up killing the other giants, right? Sons of the giants, right? Which is, they were giants. They were the sons of the main giant, right? And in Gath, these four were born to the giant in Gath and fell at the hand of David and by the hand of his servants, right? And I was thinking that, Pastor Matthew is our king right here at the Dream Center. He's the king at the Dream Center, and his wife is the queen, right? And, and they created this kingdom all by the power of God because they have anointing on their hands. And, and that he's fought many battles. He's about many battles, right? And I was thinking, I was using, and I was also thinking of this scripture right here is that um, 1 Corinthians 3, uh, starting at, let's just start at 9. For we are God's fellow workers. Right. You are God's field. You are God's building. According to the grace of God, which was given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another built on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. For no found other foundation, no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus. Now, if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay and straw, each one's work will become clear, for the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire. And the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work which has been built on it indoors, he will receive a reward. And I was thinking once again, Pastor Matthews, right? He built him, his wife, everything coming together, right? Building the Dream Center, and it's been tested through the fire, and... I can only speak of what I've been through here is uh, the COVID, right? And but I'm sh I, there's no doubt in my mind that just the beginning, building it from the ground up, there was a lot of testing of the fire, and it's outlasted the, it's outlasted all that, and it's standing strong, and so he has a, him and his wife, and everybody a part of it has great rewards that had to do with building this place, and so when we go back to Second Samuel. 21 again about fighting the giants right now it's time for him to rest right he's getting he's getting tired he's putting in a lot of work him and his wife it's time we got we got we put our hands on his sword like put your sword down man let list you this least the light go faint and get quenched right just we got it it's time for us to pick up the sword right so he could go home and rest and get healthy again right and we pick up the swords 
and we fight the rest of the giants and we keep this battle going and we keep fighting and enduring the testing of the fire so that the world can see that 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 he has not just built a building on the foundation of Jesus Christ but that he's discipled and built men and women of God to keep on the fight man imagine if the dream center were to just stop imagine that right we would lose a foothold in this dark world. We're called to be the light of this world, right? And um, that's what came to me. And uh, when I was in the county jail, when I first started reading the Bible, and uh, I started reading the Bible, and I started praying, and and that's when God really got a hold of me, right? And I was thinking to myself that I was all so amazed that all the prophets, right? And I didn't really understand the Bible so that much, but I was really like reading. This guy was telling me to pray and read and pray and read and God revealed it to me. And that's one thing that stood out to me was was the prophets and the apostles, right? And, and certain people that did things that, that they don't really talk much about, but they had an impact, right? They had an impact that, that like uh, Mary and, and even Joseph raising Jesus, right? No one talks about him, the... Uh, being humble and, and putting away his pride and, ra and raising a child that wasn't his and and stuff like that and and I asked God uh, to use me. I want to be used like a prophet, like a prophet. I want to be used like an apostle. I want to be used like the the people in here that they don't really talk about that much, but they did something, right? I want to be used, like use me, right? Use me, you know and um. And I, so when I was thinking to myself, when this, when I heard about Pastor Matthew, I was thinking to myself, man, Pastor Matthew, God used Pastor Matthew and his wife, right? Like, God just used him and is using him in a powerful way. But now it's time for us to be used and to continue to build on the foundation that Christ laid, right? So God has put us in a position to be those people that are in the Bible. And we are in that position, right? And to grab hold of it, right? And I was also thinking that that someday after I go after I finish ABI, and uh, that God's gonna send me out. And I was just like, if that happens, if I if I get sent out of the Dream Center, if that's what God's will is, or whether I stay here, I, I just want I wanted I was comparing myself to Pastor Matthews. I know I'm, you're not supposed to compare, but I wasn't compared as a competition. I was comparing like in the, in the, this sense that. It, what Pastor Matthews and his wife has done, I could only, I could only, I, I could only, it would be a blessing to, if I could just do 0.01% of what they have done and it be tested through the fire. And I was thinking, how many thousands of people have been touched by them and through them and by this ministry? 0.01% is a lot. It's a lot compared to what they've done, right? And and I can only ask God for, I don't need to be like Pastor Matthew. I don't need to do, make a dream center. I I just, I settle for 0.01% of what they've done on helping change people's lives. You know, so that's something I got today. Before I head off to work, my little devotions. Uh, I want to give love to Pastor Matthews, Pastor Matthews and, uh, I've been praying for him and his wife, and and uh, Dream Center has been a great place for me, and it's a blessing. And I tell everybody about the Dream Center. I tell my friends, right? And fortunately, they don't come. My friends from the past, right? It don't matter what happened in my past, man. And the things we did to each other, man, I let that go because I know that I wasn't a good person, and God's grace is on my life, and I. So I made amends with all of them that I could in, in the name of Jesus. And I told them about this place to come and change their lives. Hopefully uh, I pray for them and hopefully they someday they have that change of heart and they come. And, and uh, but about to go to work. Work is a blessing. And uh, thank you, Pastor Matthew, Pastor Matthews. And uh, thank you, Caroline Burnett and uh, Thank you for the Dream Center and all the leaders. We pray for you. And uh, 
we're going to stand strong and we're going to keep this going and we're going to continue to uh, fight those giants while our king, uh, Matthew, is getting as much rest and healing in the name of Jesus. Amen.